Do you feel like UNC will ever leave the ACC? I don't have any idea, but to say that anything is for sure yeah. for a long time. John Swafford did a great job many years ago of sta stabilizing the ACC, and now the grant of rights there is until 36. So what does that mean for Florida State? What does that mean for Clemson? If those two do leave the league, what does that mean for the rest of us? What uh, uh, the commissioner's been trying hard to figure out how to get more revenue. It's all about revenue. Everybody loves the ACC and would like like to stay. Sure, but you got to have money. Yeah. You, you can't just say I need 18 million more dollars. Where's it going to come from? Mm -hmm. And and that's where everybody is looking at every little detail to see who are we 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. Do we only have 50 sports? Do we not have leagues anymore? Do, do we simply have four divisions like the NFL? Uh, we don't know. We don't know where it's coming. Three years ago, when some people told me we would lose amateurism and we would have NIL, I said, that's, that's not ever going to happen. <laughs> and, and here we are. I was playing golf in Linville, and, and my agent called and said, I think USC and UCLA may go to the Big Ten. I said, that's ridiculous. That can't possibly happen. Calls back an hour later and says, they're gone. Man. They're gone. So to think that Oregon and Washington and UCLA and USC would be in the Big Ten two years ago and to think that we wouldn't have a Big 12, you would all say, that's ridiculous. That, that just that can't possibly happen. I, I think that uh, um, it's kind of sad, but money's driving the, the realignment. And Scott, football's the money yeah. right now. So football is driving the realignment, and that's why there's more pressure on guys like me. We need to win so we can make more money so our school can pay all the bills that we're having to pay.